Hey everyone, welcome back to Tragedy the Garnering. Uh, today, I'm going to open a few packs from this currently sealed box of Guilds of Ravnica in search of a few cards for the cube that I'm building. It's an all Ravnica cube. I've um, put together, I'm sorry, stole a list off of uh, cubetutor.com and I'm just kind of following it. Uh, it's a pretty good one called Ravnica City of Guilds. Um, trying to fill out some stuff I'm missing. One of the big things I'm missing is an Arclight Phoenix. Um, I do have this box here that could potentially contain one of those. Um, I think I'm going to do some, a few videos of opening like six at a time and see if I get lucky. And if I don't, then I'll have to procure it by other means. But for now, I'm going to open up six packs. And in the meantime, see what else I get good out of there. Um, I have to check the list really close to see what exactly I'm missing from Guilds of Ravnica. But the one particular card I know that I'm missing is the Arclight Phoenix. So let's start with this one, this one, and this one, and this one, this one, and this one. Why not? Okay. I'll be back at some point when I go through the rest of the box. Cool, right? Smash like if you agree and subscribe and share and all that good stuff. So here we go. Guilds of Ravnica. I love the Ravnica setting. I'm not going to lie. Why would I lie? Love the giant city, all the 10 different guilds. It's fun. Isn't that what this game is all about? It's fun. Not just tragically trying to garner cards right here we go league guild mage good old is it love their steampunk style a demotion from the boros league what would happen boros legion circuitous root some good ramp right there and a mnemonic betrayal good mythic there Sorcery for one, a blue, and a black. Exile all cards from all opponents' graveyards. You may cast those cards this turn, and you may spend mana as though it were many, mana of any type to cast those spells. At the beginning of the next end step, if any of those cards remain exiled, return them to their owner's graveyards. Exile, mnemonic betrayal. We will check that on the scanner in a bit, along with this foil, Unmoored Ego. That's cool. Uh, sorcery for one, a blue and a black. Choose a card name. Search target opponent's graveyard hand and library for up to four cards with that name and exile them. That player shuffles their library, then draws a card for each card exiled from their hand this way. Great. We'll take that. And we got a guild gate. Cool. Um, next pack. love opening packs I'm probably gonna start opening a lot of packs on this channel and hopefully my camera can keep up by focusing there we go unexplained disappearance cosmetronic wave intrusive pack beast radical idea packs favor veiled shade look at that good art love it watcher in the mist pause for reflection rose main centaur I know everybody's seen these comments before. I'm gonna go through them. Is it lock it? All right, we got an arboretum elemental, a join shields, and the wee dragonauts. Another fun card. And for the rare, we got a watery grave. I'll never turn down those. Um, good old blue and black shock land. Pay two life if you don't. Uh, it enters the battlefield tapped, and a Demir Guildgate to go with it. All right, not bad on my packs here so far. I'll put tokens here. Um, next pack. Do you guys want me to read the comments? Probably not. But we'll at least go through them and see what we got. got Barging Sergeant. I don't know. I'm still getting my, my style down here. District Guard. Disdainful Stroke. Torch Courier. Vigor Spore Worm. Deadly Visit. Garrison Sergeant. Is it Locket? Direct current, uncommon, swarm guild mage, 
Golgari Find Broker, Grippling Sundew, and a Guild Mages Forum. You can add a, a colorless mana or pay one and tap it to add one mana of any color. If that mana is spent on a multicolored creature spell, that creature enters the battlefield with an additional 1 1 counter on it. Cool. And a foil. Hazda Marshall. Okay. Moving right along. Haven't hit that arc light yet. Get it. Get it eventually. All missed. Little Jack Bodyguard. Take Heart. Radical Idea. Dowser of Lights, Kral Foragers, Undercity Uprising, Parhelion Patrol, Boros Locket, Siege Worm, there's that Guild Mage again from the League, Pilfering Imp, Disinformation Campaign, and a Quasi Duplicate. For one and two blue, it's a sorcery to create a token that's a copy of target creature you control and you can jumpstart it. Cast it from your graveyard by discarding a card in addition to paying its other costs then exile this card. And the Selesnia Guildgate and a Bird Illusion token. Next pack. Got some interesting videos coming up related to my typical random buys that I do. So look be on the lookout for those but for now just opening up some packs all right let's see what's the better way to do this i don't know i think it's better this way or is it as usual a hot mess on this channel i'm not even reading the comments are you missing them at all that's a dead weight nice reprint from innistrad New art, love it. All right, got a Hazda Marshall, got Golgari Riders, Raiders, sorry, and another disinformation campaign. The rare is a Legion War Boss. Great for two and a red. You get a Goblin Soldier creature with Mentor at the beginning of combat on your turn. Create a one-one red Goblin creature token. That to token gains haste until end of turn and attacks this combat if able. Very nice, Golgari Guildgate. An Elf Knight token. All right, last pack of Guilds of Ravnica. All right, Boba Belt Boar, Skyline Scout, Passwall Adept, Burglar Rat. What is he burgling, I wonder? Bunch of good loot from the city. Pax Favor, Luminous Bonds, Candlelight Vigil, Piston Fist Cyclops, Pitiless Gorgon, Fresh Faced Recruit, and the Uncommons Guild Summit, Glow Spore Shaman, a Sun Home Stalwart, and a Midnight Reaper for two and a black, a Zombie Knight creature. Whenever a non token creature you control dies, Midnight Reaper deals one damage to you and you draw a card. Okay. And a Demir Guildgate. So that does it for those six packs on this video now i will scan them up and see how i did And the rares, Midnight Reaper, three bucks. Legion War Boss, whoops, 222. Quasi Duplicate, 60 cents. Guild Mages Forum, 16 cents. A Watery Grave, 1022. Those are always good. A uh, <laughs> Mnemonic Betrayal. Not a great mythic. And a foil unmoored ego. Switch it to foil. $4.05. I'll take off everything that was under. Let's keep it under 50 cents for this stuff. Here it goes. All right. 
kept everything on that was uh, over 50 cents and ended up with uh, eight cards that were totaling $22.53 uh, which you can't even see right there so we'll work on that for the future um, but there you have it watery grave the big winner um, so that's pretty good for six packs of Guild of Ravnica uh, make sure to subscribe and like and check out my next videos thank you very much